Welcome to Yes You Can channel. As you can see, iPad is disabled. So look, connect to iTunes. That gives you a hint. See, as you can see, this is an iPad Gen 4. And I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset. Well, this consists of wiping your data. Switch off the iPad. Ensure the power adapter is connected just like this. Insert the lightning cable or any other cable like USB-C. Press the power button. Let go when you see the Apple logo. Continue to hold the home button. And then this will show up. Connect this to iTunes now. So disconnect this cable. Head over to your laptop or MacBook. I will be using a Windows laptop. So insert USB. Load up iTunes just like this. See, it's detected my iPad. Click on to restore. This will do a factory reset. And then select restore and update. So this will also update your iOS version. Click to next. Accept. And now it will start the process on the top right corner where my finger is pointing. It will be downloading. So it will be downloading the up to date iOS and factory setting the iPad all at once, two in one, all connected. Downloading, and then after the download, it will start to install. and restore to factory settings. The download got disconnected, so I moved the laptop on the floor. And the good thing is with Apple, it remembers the download percentage. As you can see, it's just downloaded the iPad software update. So now it's processing the file. It's done. Throughout the video, I will be fast forwarding this video to save time so you can see the end result. It's extracting. So at the moment, it's updating and restoring to factory reset. Good news is my iPad has been restored. My iPad is finalizing everything now, getting ready to restart onto the welcome screen. Factory reset completed successfully. Now we can start setting up the process of how you want your iPad to look like. I hope this video has helped you Please like and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you on the next one. And by the way, check out my other videos too.